Hi everybody, welcome to another Drafting Together video. I hope you're all keeping well and finding something to do and I hope you are healthy and also your nearest and dearest are fine. This is a video for Sylvie and it's how to change your basic darts into V shapes at the front for very fitted style. So by the time I'm finished, this is gonna look like this. That's my front. It's gonna have a center front seam. And then it's gonna have two lots of darts. So it's got a nice V shape. To achieve this V shape, you can, um, you can use both the bus darts and the vase darts. And we're gonna do a little bit of cheating to get the parallel lines, um, but it will still work. And you just call it innovative pattern cutting rather than cheating. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw in my original um, lines. You can see I'm getting rather desperate with pens because all my nice pens are over at Simon and Vicky's. So I have stolen my children's pens because they treat their art supply really badly. They all run out, so we slightly different colors each day. Um, so what we want is two shapes like this. And what we can do, it depends how high you want it. Um, in a way, what you could do is like a version probably of a twinned dart. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to move my bust point for the waist further down and my bust point for the chest slightly higher up. And you have to be careful. You have to do this on a body so you know quite well. So you know what happens if I move it a bit. It won't matter. If it's a new block you never work this just make sure well do a 12 you should always do 12s so what i'm gonna do is um i want these to be at 40 degree 45 degrees so i'm using my 45 degree angle i'm just sort of trying to roughly work out where i want them to be and i think i'm gonna go maybe four centimeters above and four centimeters below and see what happens. And what I might have to do for my bastard is to move it into a shoulder first. But we see how sometimes with stuff like that you have to um, experiment a bit and see how it works. So I'm just making sure, I'm actually going to move it even further down to get the, hit, to hit it right at the center front where I wanted to hit. And my, I've got a friend called Eliza and she does beautiful dresses. So I'm trying to find a pen that actually works. It's going to be very... Rustic drafting. I've got a friend called Eliza Faulkner. You can have a look at her at, um, Instagram. She's beautiful dresses, all made in Canada. And she always has a style there. She sort of does make clever pleating with diagonal darts. And um, this is a bit, um, this is more darts, but more straightforward. Hers is a bit um, more complicated, but she's in beautiful linens and balls, and it looks fantastic. Um, and then the second one I want roughly to be like this. So I've just drawn in my two style lines. Now I just have to decide um, how I'm going to get there. So at the, the waist, I'm literally just going to redraw my waist slightly further down. And all that means is it won't be as fitted. Um, so if you want this to be really super, super fitted, it won't work, but it's a style which looks great on a bigger bust, on a curvier bust, because it separates the um, volume. What you could even do, you could actually ignore the base start, and instead you could split up your original um, bust into two. So it's like the twin dart, which is in my um, 
that's the essential course on the website. You can have a look. It's got you a whole technique on how to on how to spread your bust volume, which is really flattering if you're curvy. So I've drawn um, a new line from the bottom. So this is my new um, bust point and pivot point, and I'm going to redraw my. Base start, so that's all done. And then for here, I'm gonna move my bust start quickly to here, and then I can cut it apart. So it's slightly more complicated, but it'll be fine. So I've created a new dart line, and now I'm gonna close my bust start and move it into there. So I've cut it. Apart, I'm quickly gonna stick together my original bust start. And now on here, I'm gonna put a bit of paper behind and then I can redraw that dart as well. So we're nearly there. I can now draw in a new start slightly above and redraw my original bust start. So all I've done is I've created two new style lines and then I've moved my original bust start into two directions. So the waist start can move into here and the bust start can move into here. And all I have to do now is cut along my new dart lines into my original lines and into my new style lines and then I can move all my volume and your V dart top is finished. I've cut my top out and I've cut along all my different dart lines and now my basic dart top can become a V line top and all I need to do is close my original Bust start and my original base start, and then I can open them up. And it's a really simple little drafting style which completely changes the look, which is always lovely. And what I love about it as well is that it's quite small, so you can just work on your table, you don't need that much paper. And we're always fancy making some mess of coats, but then I think, oh my god, you're just laying on the fabric gonna set me back hours. So something like that, which actually makes something really wearable, but really unique as well, is a great little project just to, because I don't know how you were, but I have less time now. So um, if you've got something you can do in an hour and put your trial together, that's the sort of thing you want. I'm gonna put some paper down. And yes, we got, thank God we got some Red stick at least. And then I'm going to stick my new darts on and stick it all down. And then it's all ready. And I don't know how, if you are making stuff, I'd love to see what you've been making. I've seen some stuff on Instagram, and some of you are really productive, unlike me. Um, it's, I find it always quite hard to sort of how everything's only changes. I've adapted now, but you know when you have lots of plans about what you're gonna do, and I was gonna make my topper coat, and that's half cut out, and has been half cut out for two weeks now, and I was gonna make my next selfish making, like which actually I'm gonna ask your opinion on that, um, which is gonna be a lovely flower dress. I'm not sure how to make it, but it's just where you need like three hours or something, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. But then I've now taught my children how to clean because I I don't know how you, you might be amazing Mrs. Hinches or Mr. Hinches, but I'm not a big fan of cleaning. So a big rule now we're all stuck together is that everybody has to clean. Because normally it's just me and my husband who are cleaning, but now they have to chuck in. So very good at hoovering and polishing by now and scrubbing floors. They're probably little um, olivers, they quite like the sort of scrubbing, the soapy brushes, um, and they're quite good, which is surprising. Anyway, enough chattering. 
I, as you can see while I was talking, and um, I've just closed my new darts because I want to see um, how my line is going to be. And I'm closing my darts down, but you can close them up as well. I always like to go with gravity, so down is gravity, but you, if you, for example, work in a relatively thin fabric, you can see the darts through it and it can make quite a nice feature. And the reason I closed it and cut it together, can you see, this is how your dart is going to look. So what I do is I fold it the direction I want it to be on paper. Then if you want to pin it, because bricks, for example, is quite hard to hold, and then you just cut along your line, your closed line, and when you open it up, you can find out how your dart is going to look, which is lovely. And now all you need to do is mark your pattern, so that's your centre front, which is a straight of grain, and you have to add your seam allowances. You could either have your straight of grain here, and I'm going to show you on the top. If you have your straight of grain here, your top is going to be um, like straight, then it's going to move like this, and then here it's going to be slightly angled as well. But that, if you do this way, you can see you're really getting an angle there. So it looks like a v-neck, so that could be really flattering how it draws attention to the knee, to the v's and repeat it. And I think that'd be lovely. And if you do that, you need to have seam along everywhere. If you put your straight of grain up here, you could actually put it on fold, can you see? And if you put it on fold, I need another color now, that's interesting. Ooh, purple. If you did your straight of grain there and you did it on fold, it looked like this. And then, ooh, this would be more like this. So if you're doing this top in a dress, in a stripe, it'd be quite interesting. So it looks more like this. So you don't have a center front seam at the top, which is nice at a certain degree, but then it does something quite weird with the grain, how it moves out. So it could be quite nice if you try it out, maybe with just a piece, little piece of striped fabric. So you either end up with something like that, or you end up with icing, I prefer personally this way because then your straight your stripes reflect your darts but of course the choice is up to you if you make this top i'd love to see your results and especially sylvia i hope you enjoy making this thank you very much for watching